President Johnson sends to Congress a bill to reinforce the right to vote. With Attorney General Nicholas Katzenbach, the President signs an accompanying letter to the legislators, urging swift passage for the bill that would outlaw discriminatory practices. Then the Attorney General briefs the press on the salient features of the bill. It would give his office the power to appoint federal registrars in six southern states where literacy and other voter qualification tests are required. The bill's aim is to bring to fruition the goal of minority groups that have staged protests throughout the nation. This is a demonstration in Montgomery, Alabama, led by Dr. Martin Luther King. In contrast to the violence of many marches, this one is held peacefully with police blessing and under permit. The day before, the marchers had been dispersed by state troopers and sheriff's deputies when they marched without a permit. Today, troopers and deputies are absent. Only city police line the route of march. The parade passes through the heart of Montgomery, past the state capitol, to the county courthouse a mile from the starting point. The only sign of disorder was the blowing of horns by impatient motorists. Not a club was raised in anger. The throng later hears Dr. King summarize a meeting he had with the county sheriff. He said that they were near agreement on future demonstrations, and he saw peace in Montgomery. <laughs> 